guys, happy Thursday. Today we're gonna to be learning about uh, remembering why order is important and why we need to follow rules, especially in math, okay? Now, last week we learned about addition. Do you remember what that was? It was the same thing as adding. Adding is when we put two small numbers together and make a bigger number. Like if we had four fingers on one hand and three fingers on another and we put them together, we counted how many fingers there were total, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four plus three makes seven, or equals seven, and then four and three makes seven. We're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna do another coloring sheet. And again, this coloring sheet has rules of what numbers uh, are what color, so we'd follow those rules. But it also has addition up top, see? So we've gotta figure out our addition problems. But good thing, I have my number line to help us out so we can figure out our numbers. So let's look at our worksheet, okay? I'm gonna start right up here with this one. Can you guys uh, see that okay? Good. So this number here, whoops, I'm gonna use my fingers and my markers. This number here, what number is that? It's three. So remember with, when we're adding on our number line, I put a dot on our first number, which is three. Right? So there's my dot, because there's three, okay? Put my marker there. And then what's this number? It's four. So that means I need to take four jumps, okay? So I'm gonna do three plus four, ready? Four jumps, one, two, three, four. And on my fourth jump, I put a dot. So I know where I landed. And then where I landed is what three plus four is. So where did I land on this one? Seven, that's right. So I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna write the number seven next to three plus four equals. Remember the plus means add or, or and, and the equal means make. So three plus four equals seven. So three and four make seven. So there is my seven, straight across, slide down the mountain. Okay, so we did that problem. Woo, good, we're off to a good start. Now what's the next number right here? What number is this? It's one, so I'm gonna put my dot on my one. And I have how many jumps do I need to make? Four. Well, that's an easy number. We know that one. Help me count. One, two, three, four. And put a dot where I landed. What number did I land on now? That's right, five. So I'm going to write my five next to one plus four equals. So one plus four equals five. Ready? Straight line across, little line down, big belly. There we go. There's my five. So time to erase my number line. Or my dots on my number line. There we go. Okay, now what number is this? It's four, can you help me find four? Is this my four? No, nope, this is my four. So there's my dot, whoopsies. There we go, better dot. And what number is this? It's a two, so let's make two jumps, ready? One, two, whoopsies, there we go. You can see that better. And there's my dot. What number did I land on now? Six, that's right, so time to write our six, ready? Big C and circle on bottom. Ta-da, we did it. Okay, we've got a couple more problems left to do and then we can fit, start coloring our picture. Ooh, what number is this? It's nine. Let's see, is this my nine? No, it's an upside down nine, but here's my nine. So there it is, there's my dot. Okay, now I need to do how many jumps? One, one jump. That shouldn't be too hard, ready? Jump. There's my one jump. So then I put my dot where I landed. What number did I land on? 10. Okay, let's write our number 10. Ready? It's part of our teen family, so it starts with a one, because teens start with a one, and 10 has a zero behind it, so it's a big circle. That's pretty easy. Okay, what number is this? That's right, it's three. So it's time for me to put my dot on my three. Oops, he's the wrong color. There's my right color. Okay, and then how many jumps do I need to make for three plus five? Five, that's right. Okay, ready? One, two, three, whoopsies, four, five. And put my dot where I landed. What number did I land on? Eight, so let's write our number eight, ready? Circle on top and circle on bottom. There we go, we got our eight. Time to raise my Dots on my what number line. Two more problems, we can do it. Okay, what number is this? 
two. So here's my dot on my two. And how many hops do I need to make? Two. We can do that. One, two. Put a dot where I landed. What number did I land on? The number four. That's right. Time to write my four. Little line down, straight across, big line down. There we go. Now you can see that a little bit better. There we go. One more problem, and then we can start coloring. Okay. Let's see the first number. What is that first number right there? That's right. It's five. So put a dot on my five. Okay. And then what number is this? It's four. That's right. So we have to make four jumps. So help me make four jumps. One, two, three, four. And there's my dot. So what number did I land on? The number nine. That's right. So I'm going to write my nine. Ready? It's a circle on top and a straight line down. There we go. Okay. So now, whoopsies. There it is. We're done with our number line for now. So I'm going to put that to the side, put the caps on my markers. And now we need to know what rules we need to follow for our color by number sheet. Okay. So I've got my markers that we need. We needed purple, orange, yellow, blue, green, white, and brown. But let's see what our first one is. Three plus four equals seven, and that's purple. So I'm gonna put a purple line right next to it. You can put a dot next to it too, whatever you need to do. Whether it's by the number or by the, or over the word, it works. So one plus four is, equals five, says that it's gonna be orange. So I've got my orange marker. I'm gonna do that, so that way we can remember. Now two, or four plus two equals six. That says it needs to be yellow, okay? So here's my yellow. There's my yellow. Nine plus one equals 10 is supposed to be brown. So here's my brown. Three plus four, five equals eight, so that's supposed to be white. Hey, wait a minute, the paper's white, so I'm not gonna, t I'm not gonna do anything. That'll hopefully help me remember, but if not, I can always come back and look. And then two plus two equals four, says it's green, so I'm gonna put my green there. Oopsies, I forgot to put my brown dot next to my 10. Let me go do that real quick. Boop, there we go. And the last one, five plus four equals nine, is supposed to be blue okay so there's my blue okay so now we know what colors we have to use so now we're going to go on a number hunt for sevens and find any sevens and we're going to color them purple because that's what they tell us to do so i'm going to find on my paper number seven oh, here's a number seven okay remember you need to stay in the lines not going outside the lines if we go outside the lines it's gonna hurt the number or the other colors, okay? And you wanna color the entire area that number is in, not just over the number. Okay, and here's one more seven. You can color that. I like to give myself that edge to help me stay inside the lines. You guys can color it however you want as long as we follow the rules of the numbers, okay? The numbers need to be the same color. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys figure out where are more sevens. Okay, I finished coloring all my purple sevens. Did you finish too? Great job. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my next color. One plus four equals five, and that color is orange. So I've got my orange. I'm gonna be on the hunt for number five. I see a number five here. I'm gonna color that area. So I'm gonna color that in. I'm going a little fast, but I'm still trying to take my time and make sure I color it. In. I want you guys to color it in all the way. Oh, um, here's another number five. I'm gonna color that one in too, okay? Okay. There we go. Okay, that area's colored. Now you guys find more fives. Okay, I finished all my orange fives. I did leave a little bit of white space, so I'll have to go back and finish those, but I did a pretty good job. Okay, it's time to move on to our next number. Four plus two equals six. And what color is that? Yellow. So I'm gonna look for my sixes, see if I can find any sixes. Oh, here's a six. Let's color that one in. Here I am creating my border just to make sure I don't cross the lines and 
accidentally hurt another number. And here's another number six, so let me color that one too. There we go. Are there any more number sixes? Nope, we're all done with our six, so I'm gonna put our yellow away. Now I'm gonna look for nine plus one equals 10. And what color is that? <laughs> That's right, it's brown, so I'm gonna look for 10. Oh, here's a 10, let me color that one in. Take your time. It's not a race to see who can finish first, okay? I want you guys to make your pictures look beautiful. I know you can. And I want you guys to try your best, okay? That's all I ever ask. There's my other 10. Okay, any more 10s? Nope, no more 10s, time to put my marker away. Okay, three plus five equals eight, and there's no dot by it, so that must mean it's white. So let's see if I can find any eights. Here's an eight. Well, if it says white and the paper's white, I don't need a color, so that's okay. Here's another eight, and here's another eight. So I'm not gonna touch this. I'm gonna leave those alone because they're supposed to be white. And I'm gonna go to my next number. Two plus two equals four, and that color is supposed to be green. Okay, I've got my green marker. I'm ready to find my number fours. Where is my number four? Here's a number four, I'm gonna color that in. There we go. Oh, and here's another number four. Okay, friends, it's time for you to go on your number hunt, find more fours and color them in. Okay, I finished all my fours. I do have a little bit of white space, so I have to go back and finish them too, but that's okay. Now it's time for our last number. Let's see what our last number is. Five plus four equals nine, and that's blue. Okay, so let's find some nines to color them blue. Here's a nine, I think I'll color this one right here. Sometimes you can do it in small sections first and then just take your time around that curve. Sometimes you do it all at once. Sometimes you just do little parts at a time. Oh, here's another nine. I'm gonna color that one too. Okay. Okay, my friends, I think you can handle the last nines. Go find them and color them. Okay, I finished all my nines and we finished the picture. Wow, that looks so much better than when it was black and white. Now friends, I have one more picture for you guys, okay? It's this one right here. It's got more addition problems up top that we're gonna need to solve before we can know what to color it. And I don't know what it's gonna look like. So we gotta figure these out before we can color it. And I want you guys to try that at home, okay? Well, until next time, my friends, may God bless you and your families. Bye.